Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. This is 2020. I'm the Drunk Poker Tis Beer Time. How are you? It's Tuesdays. Uh, I only got two more days left to work until I'm on vacation. I got to work Wednesday. I'm off Thursday. And then I got to work Friday. And then I'm on vacation. Um, so, yeah, beer time. We're going we're gonna to do a little road trip and I think uh, go visit some breweries, uh, pick up some beers. I uh, got some beer delivered the other day, though. My friend Jason from Shacklands. Stopped by the store, dropped off some beer that I bought, and also dropped off this special little one that he made, a double dry hopped Saison with Azaka and Galaxy, 4.8%, called Fuck the Guilds. Fuck the Guilds, he says. Um, why? Why? Well, let's talk about that for a second. Craft beer is a little white, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we're always trying to make things better. There's uh, people that do the things and, and talk the talk and walk the walk and raise the money and try and, you know, we do have an Ontario Craft Brewers Association, a guilt, as it were. I know in the States they have the Brewers Association. There's a lot of trouble down there with that. There's a lot of trouble with uh, representation and dealing with diversity and inclusivity, uh, LGBTQ2, uh, Black, Indigenous, people of color. Um, there's there's massive issues with any, with any walk of life. And with craft beer, we always think that, you know, it's kind of special. It's a special place to be, you know, we feel cool feel included we want everybody to feel included that's why ren do my friend ren beer diversity we always talk about it because she's trying to make that table bigger for everybody so why fuck the guilds well the ontario craft brewers association represents less than a quarter of the ontario craft brewers they haven't publicly stated anything for a long time we've come to found out that they're an inward looking organization so they only look and care about the members and that's fine that's fine that's your association there is no ontario craft beer drinkers Association or guild, as it were, to try and make the world a better place. Maybe we should have one. I don't know. But here's to Jason for at least bringing it to our attention. Fuck the guilds. Oh, baby. This is sold out. It was a very small batch. Jason will do these things just for small batch, for, for awareness and stuff. Um, yeah, Galaxy and Zach, great. Lots of pithy uh, orange some grapefruit then you get like the saison you get a lemon a little bit of bubblegum a little spice it's just a nice drink of beer 4.8 percent low abv crushable it's the conversation we need to have though about how do we come together to make the world a better place in craft beer i mean the, the larger world's got bigger problems than that but we always look at this craft beer world as kind of special to us right it's special to us but it needs to be special for everyone who wants to be a part of it Not that they want to be able to feel like they're they can be a part of it or that they're included okay they need to see themselves as being part of it so how do we do that do we create a guild do we create a, a beer drinkers guild and we we police it we the people the beer drinkers ontario i don't know i don't i don't know i i wish i was a better man i really do sometimes jason's the type of man he knows he's a good guy be better do good, be good, drink good. Fuck the guilds. Cheers. I really like that he makes delicious beers and I get to say the word fuck, so it's good all around. 